Hi everyone, welcome to the video where we're going to look at an example using constant volume calorimetry or also known as bomb calorimetry. Now if you remember, bomb calorimetry is used to measure um, the heat flow when we're looking at gases or um, high temperature reactions because we can't use coffee cup calorimetry for this because first gases would escape out of the styrofoam cup but then if we used high temperature reactions, that would melt the cup. So when we have gases or high temperature reactions, which is typically combustion reactions, um, we're going to use bomb calorimeters, which are a little bit different than coffee cup. So in this example, um, it talks about how hydrogen gas might be a substitute for natural gas, uh, which is methane. And to compare the energies of combustion of these fuels, the following experiment was carried out using a bomb calorimeter. So that's your first clue that this is going to be a different type of problem. It's in a bomb calorimeter uh, with a heat capacity of 11.3 kilojoules per degree Celsius. Uh, when a 1.50 gram sample of methane was burned with excess oxygen in the calorimeter, the temperature increased by 7.30 degrees Celsius. When a 1.15 gram sample of hydrogen gas was burned, the temperature increase was 14.3 degrees Celsius. Calculate the energy of combustion per gram for hydrogen and methane, and which is a better fuel. So I kind of did this as I went through the example, but again, label everything you know. So if that means you make a column down the side of your paper and label everything, do that. So if we label everything we know, um, first it's bomb calorimetry because the problem said. So we have to use the equation Q equals capital C calorimeter. This is the calorimeter constant times delta T. The reason that this is a little bit different is because we're not just focusing on the specific heat of one thing. Um, what this takes into account is um, the calorimeter constants um, or the specific heat of the calorimeter and the mass of everything that's inside the calorimeter. Because a bomb calorimeter has a steel container inside, it has leads to ignite the source, um, it has oxygen. So with bomb calorimetry, we use the equation Q equals C calorimeter times delta T. So the problem specified that the calorimeter constant is 11.3 kilojoules per degree Celsius. It also said that the change in temperature of methane is 7.30 degrees Celsius. And then it said that the change in temperature of hydrogen was 14.3 degrees Celsius. So we had the calorimeter constant, we had the change in temperature of methane and the change in temperature of hydrogen, as well as the mass of methane and the mass of hydrogen. So I wanted to get everything labeled um, that way we have all the variables and we can kind of plug things in as we need to. So to start off, we want to find the heat um, of methane. So how much heat is released when we look at um, the methane combusting. So we take the calorimeter constant times the change in temperature. So the calorimeter constant was 11.3 kilojoules per degree Celsius and the change in temperature was 7.3 degrees Celsius. So notice our degrees Celsius cancels and we get 82.49 kilojoules and then do the same for hydrogen. So we take the uh, calorimeter constant times the change in temperature because this is in the same bomb calorimeter the constant is the same otherwise we wouldn't be able to compare if they weren't the same but we multiply by the change in temperature our degrees Celsius cancels and we get 161.59 kilojoules. So we have the heat produced by the methane, the heat produced by the hydrogen. But the problem said that we need energy per gram. So when we looked at the heat of methane, this was 82.49 kilojoules per 1.5 grams. So what we have to do is divide we had 82.49 kilojoules for every 1.5 grams. If we divide this, that gets us 54.99 kilojoules per gram. Or if we round to three sig figs, it's 55.0 kilojoules per gram. So for methane, 
and we have 55 kilojoules per gram. So if we burn one gram of methane, we produce 55 kilojoules of energy. Then for hydrogen, right, that was 161.59 kilojoules, but that was for 1.15 grams. So if we divide the two um, and we round it to three significant figures, we get 141 kilojoules per gram. So now we can compare methane and hydrogen because it's in kilojoules per gram. So looking at this, if we burned one gram of each, which would be the better fuel? Well, it would be hydrogen, right? Because it produces almost three times the energy as methane. Um, that's why hydrogen is so flammable, because it produces so much energy. So hydrogen would actually be uh, the better fuel, but then we have safety concerns um, with this. So that was one example on looking at constant volume calorimetry using a bomb calorimeter. Um, it also kind of gave you an idea as to the types of problems with finding heat per gram. Um, sometimes you might have to find heat per mole, um, but this is one type of problem. And again, if you want to look at other example problems, just look in your book um, because it takes you step by step through the different problems.